Hey, how y'all doing? Just cooking with Dave once again. I'm Dave. Uh, today I'm going to cook a couple of eggs, a little southern breakfast with some grits and some ham. Uh, I had somebody ask me, I think it was Casper, I'm not sure, but somebody asked me if I would fry an egg in my old pan, fry an egg in my new pan. Let's see you know, what the nonstick difference is. I don't usually try to fry an egg in my new pans until I've seasoned them for quite some time, but we'll give it a try. I kind of cheated a little bit because uh, I've used that pan a great deal this week. I fried chicken in it twice. I fried chicken strips in it one night. I fried chicken breast in another night. I cooked some pork in it with some risotto. So I've been using it. It seems like it's getting pretty non-stick. We'll see if it's non-stick or not. All right. All right, here's our old pan. I put my stove on about medium high, a little less. I'm going to put a, a pat of butter in my pan. Hopefully help me be non-stick. Okay, after my butter starts to melt, pan is hot. Go ahead and I'm going to crack my egg right in the middle of the pan. And I'm just going to cook an over easy egg today. I like over easy eggs. The important thing about an over easy egg is not to get the yellow done. You want to leave the yellow runny. Because people like me that like over easy eggs, what we'll do is take us some toast or some bread and dip up that uh, yellow and it is good. Man, it is good. You know, sometimes I'll just you know, put it in some grits. Like today, I'm going to put it in some grits. I'm going to show you all how I eat breakfast. Uh, a lot of people always used to make fun of me and give me a hard time. When I was in the Army, if they saw me in the cafeteria eating breakfast, they'd be like, Hey, where are you from? You must be from the South. Nobody eats breakfast like that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, the way I do my grits. I pretty much put everything in my grits. Uh, I don't think there's probably a whole lot I won't put in grits. I, I like grits. I'll eat tuna fish and grits. So. Grits is good. How can you go wrong with some grits? It's like saying you don't like bread. Who don't like bread? As soon as my egg starts looking like it's bubbling up and going to get ready to flip, I will flip it. Important thing here is not to bust the yellow. If you bust the yellow, then it is not a successful uh, over easy egg. If you bust the yellow, then you can just call it an egg sandwich. Or you could fry it hard, I guess, and call it fried hard. but. I think fried hard's right either if you bust the yellow. You bust the yellow, you gotta call it an egg sandwich. All right, the yellow did not bust. Egg looking good. Cooking nicely. I'm gonna hit it a little salt and pepper. And then we'll cook another egg in the other pan. That's all it takes right there, but boom, that's over easy egg. All right, here's a new pan. It's heating up. Got it on the same temperature, about medium high, a little less. Uh, we're going to get hot so we can melt a little butter in it and crack egg on it, see if it sticks. If it sticks, it'd be okay. I still eat it. You know how it is. Butter is hot. Throw us an egg right there in the middle. I think the pan cooks a little hotter. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. You see, so you get to know your new pans. You gotta study them a little bit. See how much that egg bubbled up so fast like that? That's because this pan here is newer, it's not seasoned as well, and it's gonna cook a little hotter. It still seems to be not sticking though, and that's cool. But the other pan is more seasoning, used a lot longer. It doesn't get hot, and that's why, hey look at there, we flipped it, we didn't stick, didn't bust the yellow. That's why uh, the seasoning pan, you can fry it, and it will not burn your, your chicken or anything as fast. Because it heats more evenly, it's been seasoned longer, it's been used longer, and it's just a better pan once you use it for a while. But that egg doesn't look bad. Looks like it's going to be edible. Put a little salt on it. A little pepper. And I believe we call that egg number two. Okay, now let me show you the way I serve this breakfast. Okay, 
This is the way I serve this breakfast. I take me some, a couple of eggs like that, put some grits right beside them, like that. Then I'm gonna take me some ham, just put some ham there. I just warmed up some ham in that pan. And if I had some toast, let me get some toast. A little butter in there. Can you ever have too much butter? You know what I'm saying. All right, and here we have some toast. It was hot. Okay, this is my breakfast. This is how I eat breakfast. I eat it with bacon or sausage. Um, I like to have a little cheese up in the grits, some butter in the grits. And what I do is just cut up my my egg and put it in my grits. And I throw a little bit of ham in the grits too and mix all that up. That's what I'm talking about. When I was in the army doing this, people would say, Dave, you must be from the south. Nobody eats like that. What are you doing with that food? Because nobody likes grits too much to start with. Y'all know how y'all are. Y'all don't like grits. It's just ground up corn. If you like corn, you should like grits. Good stuff. And I have a little bit of that going on. Mmm, that's good. And this other egg, I like to cut it up and then have that juice going on there. And take me some little bit of egg and put it on my toast. Maybe a piece of ham up on the toast. And I can fold that over and make me a little sandwich. Dip it in that juice. Mmm, -mm. man, that's good. All right. Mmm. I was hungry. Okay, hope y'all enjoyed cooking the egg. Uh, new pan worked out pretty good. Burned a little hotter. Uh, you know, if I turn down a little bit, then I didn't stick though. Non-stick, quick like I said. I fried in it twice this week. Cooked some other stuff in it this week. Been good to it. Washing out warm water, putting oil in it. Letting oil sit in it after I fry in it. So it's coming along nice. I really like the pan a lot, especially with the lid. I cooked some pork. I took some pork ribs, cut them up real small, and cooked them in there with that lid. It made them juicy, tender, they were wonderful. Then I, I put some risotto in the lid and made a pork risotto. It was wonderful. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.